Hey guys, AJ Bricks here, and today we are having a look at my custom minifigure for the classic Shocker, like the Shocker, one of um, Spider-Man's villains, and I did the one from the comics. So um, we might do more of these custom minifigure videos, so um, yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so here is the Shocker. So, um... Uh, so first off, let's start with the legs. We just have some plain red legs. I couldn't find some burgundy legs, um, like the ones that Iron Man, like Iron Man's colour, because that would be more ideal, because he has sort of like um, burgundy, like half up to his knees, and he has like yellow. So th this looks good enough. I use the, um, I think it's Macho Man's, torso from the Lego Ninjago movie Think Tank set um, because he does have a um, suit on but like the yellow is meant to be a suit and so it's meant to have like the same pattern as the arms does and anyway the arms are from the Shocker from the Spider-Man Homecoming um, Beware the Vulture set and oh that's the color i was talking about the burgundy hands um there's the back and then for the helmet i used axles from and i got that one from the nexo knights i think it was it was one of the second season of sets and i got the f head in the same set actually i think it was rogol um, it has that and that's the other face, but I don't use that. I just do that. He does usually, the character does usually have a red triangle on his forehead there, but I couldn't get that. And, um, we just use some of these, um, like, I don't even know what they are. Captain America shield thingies from Infinity War. I didn't actually have this, the, the, that set. I, th I can't even remember where I got these from. These were just... Oh, yeah, I think it was a Lego Ninjago movie little set. But they're just, like, his um, fists that he used. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to know what he looks like, just type up the classic Shocker. Um, and, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. See ya.